Okay, boys, welcome back to another amazing video. Today's video story that we're going to be talking about today is about a story that recently occurred in Eretz Israel. It was a few weeks ago when some lady, some girl, about 18, 19 years old, she goes with her friends to a shiur. You know, she wasn't religious yet. She didn't really keep Shabbat, Torah, Mitzvot. And her and her friends decided, why not? There's going to be a huge seminar. Seminar is like a shiur, a class, a Torah class by a rabbi. And her and her friends were going. They didn't keep Shabbat. They didn't keep Mitzvot, Torah, no this, no that, no candle lighting before Shabbat. Nothing. They didn't even keep the basics. And so she went to the class and she's there with her friends. And she was so inspired. The whole shiur, you know, like sometimes you go to a shiur and you're like, whoa, no way, oh my gosh, Hashem. And she discovered, wow, Hashem is in my life. He loves me, he cares about me. I should really do as much as I could to really care about him. Learn his Torah, do his mitzvot, keep Shabbat. At the end of the shiur, the rabbi said, I'm sure you are all inspired, every one of you. However, now that the class is over, I want each one of you to take one thing upon yourselves, something that you're going to change for the better, something that you're going to change in your life. Everybody's thinking, this one says that, this guy says tefillin every day, this person says I'm going to say Shema, this girl says I'm going to do this. Everyone is taking a different thing upon herself. This girl will call her Sarah, Sarah. She's thinking, what can I do? What's something that I myself can do that I could try my best? And she says, you know what? I'm going to do my best to keep Shabbat. That means once a week, that's it. So enough. Stopping all devices, no phones, no iPads, no this, no that, no calling, no cars. I'm going to stop. I'm going to spend the time at home with my family. And that's what I'm going to do. We're going to make Kiddushin. Simple, basic. Okay. She says this in front of everybody. She says, I will keep Shabbat. Me, Sarah, that's it. I will do my best. Rabbi says, Chazak Baruch blesses her, and everybody goes home. That week, her friends call her up. Hey, Sarah, how you doing? You want to go to a party? There's going to be a party in the south of Israel, all the way on the bottom, near Gaza. It's like, yeah, whatever, nice place. She's like, oh my God, yeah, I love parties. Let's go, we're going to have a great time. And then suddenly she remembers. Dung! I promised the rabbi in front of everybody by the Torah class that this week is going to be my first Shabbat. I'm going to keep it. Her friend's like, what are you talking about, Sarah? Come on, party, music. Da, ba, ba, ba. Let's do it. Come on, come with us. What are you... You'll keep it next week. Don't worry. You'll do it for the rest of your life anyway. Just keep it next week. She's debating back and forth. You know, Yetzirah sometimes gets you, makes you a little, you know, changes your mind. You know, I'll do it next week. Why not? And finally, her Yetzirah Tov comes and says, Phew! no, I'm not going to do it. Shabbat, I said I'm going to do it. I'm going to be trustworthy. I'm going to be stick to my word. And I will keep Shabbat. She told, tells her friends, friends, I'm sorry. I, can't hurt. I keep Shabbat now. That's it. Enough is enough. I promised and that's it. My word is my word. I'm sticking to it. Lo and behold, boys, that Shabbat was October 7th. And October 7th, as we all know, everybody that went to the party was the festival. A lot of people there, the terrorists, the Arab terrorists came in and killed a lot of people. A lot of her friends were hurt. Some of them were even kidnapped. Some were even killed. But since this girl Sarah, Sarah kept Shabbat, her life was spared. Her life was spared because she kept Shabbat. As the famous Rabbi Avram Ibn Ezra, the Rabbi that wrote, Ki Esh Merah Shabbat, what did he say? Ki Esh Merah Shabbat? El Yishmerani. Those who keep Shabbat, Hashem, Yishmur, Shomer, Hashem will be your guard. Hashem will watch over you. And that's really what happened. Ki Eshmerah Shabbat. Since she kept Shabbat, El Yishmerani. Hashem watched over her. He made sure she was safe and sound. Boys, the power of Shabbat is phenomenal. We are so close to Shabbat. It's Thursday today. It's up to us to keep Shabbat. But not only keep Shabbat, but to learn more about Shabbat. If we're already keeping Shabbat, let's take one step more. Let's do one thing more for the chayalim, for the soldiers of Israel, for our brothers and sisters in the land of Israel. If you keep Shabbat, beautiful. Eitan, I'm with you. Maybe let's learn a little bit more. Maybe we'll open up a halacha book and learn about Hilchot Shabbat. That's what we're doing every day in our class. But maybe a little bit more. 
halachot of this, halachot of Shabbat of that. Am I allowed to do this? Can I do that? What if like this? What if? All the different halachot. Because when we learn more about Shabbat, we'll start to really appreciate Shabbat and we'll live in, in a world where we're just like, wow, I know about Shabbat. I appreciate Shabbat. I love Shabbat. I am keeping Shabbat now. Because the more you learn about Shabbat, and the more you understand Shabbat, guess what? You know what happens, Yitzhak? The more you will love Shabbat. So Be'ezrat Hashem, boys, let's understand this message. Ki esh mera Shabbat el yish merini. Those who keep Shabbat, Hashem will watch over them. Natan, not only keeping Shabbat, but learn more about it. When you learn more about it, then you will love Shabbat even more. Boys, have an amazing day. שלא שומר שבת. תקשיבו לי טוב. להיקבל עצמו שתי שבתות הקרובות. רגע לפני יום הדין. אם יש פה מישהו או מישהי שלא שומרים שבת, שתי שבתות, יתחיל שתי שבתות, יקבל משחר. יקבל משחר פה. מה השם שלה? בערך. אני וחברה שלנו בסמינר בירושלים. שבעצם דיבר שם על שמירת השבת וכמה שזה חשוב. והחלטנו בעצם לקחת על עצמנו שמירת שבת. ונטע בגלל שרצינו לשמור את השבת, וככה בעצם רואה גם שהשבת שמרה עלינו. דווקא בגלל ההתעקשות הזאת, כאילו, ניצלנו. ולא רק אנחנו, עוד חברים שלנו גם. כי שמירה שבת, אלי שמירי לי, חבר'ה שבת היא מעל הכל. אם אנחנו נשמור שבת, הבנות ילכו בצניעות, זה מה שיעמוד לנו בלבנון. זה מה שיעמוד לנו בחזית. הקדוש ברוך הוא והצניעות והשבת, זה מה שישמור עלינו.